ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. In boxing, what was your why that kept you going for all these years? Well, I just, I just, I just loved it. Just loved it. Just keep it up. I don't know. It, it was out of that, you know, trying to lose some of the steam and, and lose, do some good things. Because see, I, I've, I've had, I've had some white kids get, get the buy a box of black kids. See, and 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 and. Yeah, anybody know that? I used to say, like uh, they used to say, here come Louie and his white gang. I, I got kids, I had some tough boys. Mexican, Mexican kids are the toughest kid in the world. What do you want your legacy to be? Or what do you want to be remembered as for, as a boxing coach? Yeah, the God loving human, human being. And uh, you, if you if you take that, if you realize, if we realize, we we fall off the wagon sometimes. But uh, we we don't always realize there's something big. You know, I I, <clears throat> I just can't believe that all this stuff that's going on with us today, that that it's not happening in Los Angeles, this uh, Kansas City. Uh, China in one place. It's happened all over the world. Something greater than us that did that. God pulled back from us. This is, you got to handle your own stuff. And we can't handle it. People are dying by the hundreds because we got too, we went too far. We, we, we broke some rules someplace. I don't know what it is, but the world would break so many of them until so many rules until it's I guess it just just messed up. We're locked up in the house and can't go no place and everywhere you can't run no place. Well you can you run but you can't hide. Did I did you want to talk about anything else uh before I let you go? Is there anything that I didn't touch on that you'd like to talk about? Well, like like Sister Chavis, he he come stay with us because I was uh, in charge of the, the CSO. And the, the, we had uh, here in, in series at my church. You know, we I say Jews, we we entertain them. He he was a man that, that God sent me. Martin Luther King, God sent man. And, you know, so these people, folks didn't have no hate. They they took they took stuff that, that the average person couldn't take. And God bless them and and, and it's showing that a lot of people did love them and and still love them. I want to get a little bit more of that story with uh, Cesar Chavez. Um, what was that experience like and any insight? Because it was that's such an impactful person to a lot of people. I think they'd like some insight. He was, he was, a, he was a believer. He was a man that believed that, that you know, that he held me as a nation, that he had every right that everybody else had, and that his folks should have the right, all folks, we think. Although his, you know that he was the leader of the Mexican group, uh, he 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 didn't he didn't discriminate. No, he didn't discriminate at all. He was a quite a friendly man. Came to my house. He he didn't. That that's what made those guys so so God sent. Him, Martin Luther King, now that John Lewis, not too long ago. Well, I don't know. I'm just hoping that I'm set on the lower scale. Mm -hmm. I'm just hoping that God, God has blessed me because I, when I used to, it used to go, we traveled, we go to a place, uh, the, the guys used to close their eyes when we walk in the building, me and my kids. 
we didn't go places to to play and do our own business. I've never heard that right. expression of close your eyes when people went in there. What does that mean? Well, I don't I don't know. I don't really know. I mean, when I walk in, it means they, they didn't want to fight my kids. <laughs> 